What is up everybody? Today we are assembling an RF stool kit. This is a DIY, put, put it together, paint it, stain it, whatever you want to do with this kit. It is up to you, but it comes in bare steel, optional raw wood top if you choose to, or you can supply your own wood top. If you do supply your own wood top, there will be a template. That way you can center whatever if you're doing a square or round stool to fit onto the base nicely. But today we are going to be doing an overview on how to assemble this stool for the best success. Assembling about one stool takes about 25 minutes. It's not the fastest process. Really simple, and we're gonna go over all that today. Here I have laid out all the bits and pieces that we need to assemble one stool. We have four dimple dyed legs. We have four cross braces, which we can land our feet on. The stool top or the base for your seat top to sit on. And then we have a 5 30 seconds Allen and a 7 16 open end wrench. Besides that, we got all of our stainless hardware laid over here to the side. Recommend putting that into a container so it's really easy for you just to grab each piece. We got the bottom of our stool feet which won't scratch up your wood floor, tile floor, etc. So, Let's get started. To start off, we're gonna grab the topmost part of the stool. This is what the wood portion or whatever seat you choose to will land. We're gonna take it, we're gonna flip it upside down. Doesn't matter what orientation it is, all the pieces are universal. So we're gonna flip it upside down. And we're gonna start off by grabbing one leg. And for each bolt, you'll take your butt head bolt, Put your washer on first. Now there is a nice side to the washer. If you actually look, you'll see a shinier, more beveled side and then a more flat side. So, I mean, it's up to you. If you don't care, it doesn't matter. But if you want the nicer side, make sure that's pointing outwards. And for now, we're just gonna take this, get our leg on the outside of the top and line up one bolt. We're gonna hold this here. We're gonna grab another flat washer. After the flat washer, we're gonna grab a lock washer. And then to finish up, we're gonna grab one of our nuts. These are all quarter by 20 hardware, by the way. So if for some reason you lose a piece or anything along those lines, super easy to find at any hardware store. Once we got one, we're just gonna hand tighten it for now. We're just gonna keep going with the process get another Allen head bolt with a washer, push it through, grab a, another washer, lock washer, and quarter by 20 nut. This is all stainless hardware, so you shouldn't have to worry about rusting, especially if this is going inside of your home or garage. As I'm going to go through this, uh, like I said before, these are bare steel. At this point, we're only going to be offering a bare steel version. We could potentially have powder coated kits and completed finished tops. But for right now, there will be uh, versions of no tops. There will be a supplied template that you can cut to whatever shape your seat is. So that way you know you're centered up on the seat really easy. Once we got one leg roughly tightened. We're gonna turn it. We're gonna go to the opposite side so that way it doesn't fall over. We're gonna grab ourselves another leg, set it right here, and just continue the process of an Allen bolt, a flat washer, get one through the hole, finish it off with a flat washer, lock washer, and quarter by 20 nut. One more thing to note during this process is you don't want to tighten anything yet. All we're doing is just roughly, loosely assembling everything. And this ensures the easiest, most proper fitment. Uh, if you were to try to tighten it up now, that's gonna be really tough to get the rest of the pieces all together. Uh, and I found this to be the best way, the most successful way to assemble the stool. It's just by loosely assembling all the parts. 
We got all the legs loosely bolted up. It's time to move to the crossbars. We're gonna grab our first crossbar and how I like to assemble it so it doesn't fall on you is get two bolts with a washer on them. And this will be going, since the stool's upside down, it'll be going upside down to what you think. They go on the inside of the stool, not the outside. Put one bolt through one hole on one side, line up the other one, get it through. And then quickly come over, grab a set of washers and then a nut. Loosely thread it on there. Finish off that other side. Get a nut on there. And that way this crossbar is now in place and ain't going anywhere. Put the two other bolts in. Once we get all this bolted in, we will turn it 90 degrees and get the next cross brace in. Remembering to just loosely tighten everything by hand. By loosely tightening everything. Now that we got all the pieces loosely assembled, all the crossbars and the base all loosely assembled, we're going to put the feet on before flipping it over take our felt foot. Best way I found is take the nut, push it up against the bottom of the steel foot, start threading it in, and you can just hold your finger there just to thread it all the way down. Boom, we'll come back. We'll snug that down with a wrench, but now we'll just go to all four legs. And get all the felt feet on. Now, uh, if you don't have a large surface like this, you can just set it on the floor. I've done a couple that way. But we're gonna take it, loosely assembled, carefully flip it over so it's on its feet. You wanna make sure your surface is nice and level. And at this point, we can go through. I like to start at the top. We're just gonna go through and tighten everything down. Once the top's all tightened down, we'll move down to the, the cross bracing and tighten that down. And uh, we'll be ready to put our seat top on. Here is our stool. All assembled and tightened down. The last thing to be do an example piece for right now flip the stool upside down like I said pretty lightweight stool and then line it up with your holes bolt the stool to the bottom of your seat once that's all done it'll flip over as one whole unit these are gonna be DIY kits so raw clear paint stain supply your own wood top use your own hardware it's all up to you. Have a little bit of creative freedom. So that wraps up the how to assemble your RF stool, this custom unique dimple dyed steel stool that's all put together with nuts and bolts. So it makes it really nice to ship. Easy to paint each little piece. And you could actually two tone parts if you wanted to, but hope you guys enjoyed this little video of how to assemble your RF stool. And we will see you guys in the next one. Keep on trucking. Peace.